You know how every industry has people who have business cards? I almost never see, I used to see that in the entertainment industry, but I don't see that anymore. And I was at an event and the guy goes like, I've never, I direct too, but I never make business cards. And I'm like, I get that because you're not really, you usually go like, hey, you know, friend me on Facebook. Let's do this right now. And you do it on your phone. But it was funny because in that conversation I said, because I had, you know, when I was an actor, I had like acting cards and actors always have their like headshot on their card. And I think that's still a thing. But you never see directors just be like, this is my directing card. <laughs> so I was headed right after that to like two film festivals and a networking event and a convention. And I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna make business cards. <laughs> and oh my gosh, I know when I get business cards, I always write that anyway. And now I've created a space and, and encouraged people to do that. Cause I also know, and this is so weird, I feel more than on Facebook where you circle back and you're like, oh, you know who I know? This guy I met three years ago who I Facebooked at an industry party. With business cards, I will be working on something and synchronistically decide to flip through my business cards that I have acquired over the years. And sometimes it's really random. I'm like, oh, I just feel like, oh, I'm clearing stuff out from Los Angeles. I'm gonna go through my business cards that I still have, you know? And I'm like, oh oh, I could use this. This person might want to work on my production. That might actually help their reel. And, you know, then we have an editor and that guy's really good. So then I go like, well, that's kind of cool. Or like, hey, I'm traveling to Chicago and I happen to just go through my pile of Chicago stuff the week before and be like, oh, I should, get, I should, I'm gonna, I have a few extra, um, you know, hours in Chicago while I'm there, I should, you know, get in contact with this person and just see what's up. That happened actually recently. I was in Chicago and I, I might be headed back there and I'm like, you know what? Um, this trip, no, but I think next trip I'm going to get in contact with this woman because she was really fun to talk to and I have a feeling at this woman in film event she would remember me too and we should go get coffee. I think it would be fun. And, um, you know, that's kind of, it's interesting because I feel like everyone acquires business cards. And I also feel like people think it's like, oh, business cards, I have like a stack of 700. Yeah, but it's weird how sometimes they pop out at you on, on the, at the right time, in the right place, in this weird synchronicity. And I think that is actually kind of beautiful. So uh, that is just a small aspect of, of business card acquisition and handing out. Of course, here's the thing, I don't hand out that business card unless, you know, it feels right. Cause I, I did find in, especially Los Angeles, people just be like, card? And you're just like, thanks, uh, okay. You know, and you really didn't wanna say, I, I don't think this is gonna go any farther professionally or otherwise, but they'd really, you know, just hand you the card out of like, just habit, habit, habit. and. It really, it has to be like a good conversation for me to want to give out a card where like, I think I'd like to work with this person or have some sort of follow up and then here, card, remember where you met me and I'll remember where I met you and when you call me, I will know you and re remember that we should go get coffee because let's talk about our future projects together. So that's my bit about my bit, like, it's like I'm doing a bit. Anyway, <laughs> that's, that's a little bit about business cards in this entertainment industry. I would love to hear from you and get a feel for what you're doing in terms of offline marketing, especially um, aside from the networking, because I know that's a thing, but like, do you use business cards? Are you a director using business cards? Or like, I've gotten gaffer cards and like, that's like, I'm like, that's so cool. Like one of them I got had gaffer and then it had on, or grip, it was a, a grip. And on the back, he wrote the definition of grip. And he's like, you know what? Nobody knows what I do, you know? And I was like, that's really cool. That's really cool. And, and look, uh, that was like five years ago and I am talking about it in a video today. <laughs> so it was memorable too. So, um, how do you use your business cards, postcards as an actor, as a crew member, as a producer, and also how are you, um, how are you receiving cards and how, when you go to these events, do you just say, ah, just Facebook me or do you receive the cards 
and and you know do you follow up i had somebody else follow up with me immediately i had a couple people do that recently and i was just i was glad that they did but i felt like then after that it didn't it wasn't a conversation on either front that was like really one of those oh let's work together oh this is totally synchronous it was more like like they were kind of like, that's their process, still a good process. And we'll get into that too in a few videos, but, um, you know, we were not, he was not like, oh, I need a director tomorrow. And cause then that's, I had no services to offer him. So, cause he wasn't looking for my services. So, uh, it was kind of, um, I guess it was just a, in order to reinforce the relationship, but it didn't feel like we, it was like, Hey, Hey, and it wasn't like we had that flowy conversation. Like, you know, you know, when you're like having a nice conversation at a networking event and, and it wasn't like a bad conversation, but I'm just saying like, you know, it's, it's giving out the card and receiving the card. I feel like is a, a, a promise of follow up for a, a happy experience that happened within the networking event. So, uh, I keep saying I'm going to finish this. My point is. <laughs> How do you do it? Um, cause I always love learning about other people's methods. So if you like this video, like the video with the button. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. You can go to howtoproducemovies.com if you feel like getting a how to produce checklist slash cheat sheet. And you can also check me out on Facebook. Link is below. I'll talk to you soon. Take care and have a great day.